All right, what is up guys? Jared Campisi with the beautiful Christina K. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be installing a Terminioni titanium exhaust system on my Lamborghini Street Fighter. Finally getting the mods rolling. I'm super excited, I hope you are too. Sit back, relax, enjoy. Okay, so before we get started uh, on the Street Fighter today, I do wanna remind you guys, we currently have three motorcycles that we are giving away worth over $100,000. We have a Ducati Diablo V4, we have our BMW M1000R, and we have an MV Agusta Brutale 1000RR that's currently getting uh, a custom exhaust made for it, so it's not here right now. But um, yeah, over $100,000 worth of motorcycles, you can be entered to win, patreon.com slash Customs. It's always the first link in the description below. So the first thing I wanna do today is actually get this bike outside and start it up and let you guys hear the stock exhaust. I actually do like how the stock exhaust looks. Unfortunately, it is street legal, which means it has cats and mufflers and it just sounds like doo-doo cocky and needs to be removed. All right, so I just warmed the bike up. I want you guys to hear what the stock exhaust sounds like. It's so quiet and the dry clutch is so loud, you almost can't even hear it, but. cylinder deactivation and it also has a soft rev limiter in neutral so you have to actually pull in the clutch put it in first gear then you hear that the second cylinders uh, kick in but yeah it just sounded it sounds very restrictive um, it's, a, it's unfortunate because I do like how this looks but I think that the one that we're gonna put on today which is the Termi titanium system in black it's gonna look really good we actually use this exhaust um, on our Ducati Panigale SP2 build series that we did and we really liked it so Hopefully it's going to look good on this. Man, it's been a while since I've been on my Street Fighter. I'm actually really happy that I didn't sell it. It's such a cool bike. I only have 100 miles on it, man. Because I thought I was going to sell it, so I didn't want to ride it. Because uh, I didn't want to hurt the value. But anyway, now we're keeping it. So, yeah, it's good to get on and ride it. It feels really weird now because I've been riding the BMW so much and the new MV. Now this feels kind of foreign. Um, it feels kind of weighty like on my wrists. Um, I think because the back seat's so high. I was also like, I can barely flat foot this bike. It's pretty high. But yeah, it's such a special bike, man. I love this thing. But I wanted you guys to hear the exhaust in stock form. So you can't really hear the exhaust at all you can only hear the engine sound from under the tank that's like pretty much all you're hearing the engine sounds amazing the exhaust sounds like doo-doo so hopefully we'll fix that today it's such a fun bike to ride though it's crazy that this is the same engine that's in the diablo before but it feels totally different it's pretty wild I mean, this one has 50 more horsepower, so I guess it it would make sense that it does feel different. But from hopping on like the Diablo to the BMW, the MV, back to this, it's just you can really get a feel for how different all the bikes are. It's really cool. It just makes you appreciate just how unique they all are in their own ways. And I'm like so thankful to be in an opportunity where I can even like experience all these different bikes super cool this thing pulls like crazy even in stock form man all right we have arrived at warhorse of camp hill my home away from home and it's always freaking packed out here all right the bike is up on the lift we're working with caleb again today um I'm very excited for this. So I brought over the radiator guards, um, just in case. Yeah, the EvaTech guards, because um, I wasn't sure how much of the bike's gonna come apart, so I figured I'd have them here. If it's, yeah, if it's, if it's in a good spot, 
then we'll throw those on as well. But the whole point of this video today is the Terminioni exhaust system. And of course, I want to shout out Manny from Moto Million for helping us get this uh, exhaust system. They are an official sponsor for the for the uh, channel, along with Warhorse of Camp Hill. So show them some love. If you guys want any parts uh, for your bikes, motomillion.com, use my code CAMPEASY to save yourself some money. People always go there and forget to use my code. It saves you guys some legit money. Yeah, so it, I don't get any kickbacks or anything for that. It's literally just for you guys. <laughs> I know, someone here did it. Yeah. So while she's unboxing this, I wanna talk a little bit about why I ended up choosing the Terminioni exhaust. I looked at a bunch of different exhaust systems. The one that they make specifically through Ducati with Acra is the Undertale, and I just don't like how it looks on this bike. It's too much, there's too much stuff up underneath, and it just doesn't look good in my opinion. Um, I looked at the Acra slip-on through Ducati, and maybe I'll throw up a picture right here, but they changed how it fits, and because of the mounting point right here, there's this big bracket. Wait that mounting point right there. There's this, there was this big bracket that goes right in front of the Acro exhaust and it just, once you see the bracket, carbon. you literally can't unsee it. So yeah, there's some of the carbon pieces. So yeah, I looked around at a bunch of different things. The aero systems, I didn't like. Apparently they burn your shoe as well with how they like angle up. So I just ended up settling on the Terminioni for a couple of reasons. One, they make a black version, titanium. Yeah, there's the uh, instructions for Caleb that he probably won't look at anyway. <laughs> Um, it's black, it's titanium, and it has carbon pieces on it too. It's just a slip-on, but it adds almost 20 horsepower and saves 10 pounds, which is insane. And I don't feel like it's really necessary to pull the whole thing off and do a full tie system, because on this, they actually changed how this looks. It comes with a special carbon piece on it already. It looks really good. And um, doing the whole, like the headers and titanium only saves like a couple of pounds. So this is the bulk of the problem right here. This will delete the cats. It'll delete the um, mufflers and it'll sound way, way better. So here's one of the sides. I don't know which side this is. I think it might be the other side. They kind of like crisscross over themselves, but look at that. Wow. How cool is this, dude? I'm loving the blue. Titanium with black, look at that, Termi. So I wasn't sure about blue because there is a blue Termi um, logo on there, but I think it's gonna look just fine. What do you think? Do you dig it? I, I like it. I'm <laughs> You're really staring at it. I'm seeing if you can take that off. Oh, if you, it's riveted on there, so uh, you technically could, but there'd be some holes. holes. Yeah, oh, we'll leave it for good. now, yeah. But look at the titanium, baby. Yeah, I was even thinking about, because I do really like that titanium exhaust, and those that exhaust that's on there right now, guys, $6,500 for that exhaust, which is insane. Um, I was looking into maybe coring that thing out on the inside, but I don't really want to mess with a $6,500 exhaust. It does come with the up map. Yeah, so that was the other nice thing about the Termi. You can literally plug it in and do the up map right there. I'm gonna wait for a little bit to do the up map because I just wanna make sure everything is okay since it is so new, the bike only has 100 miles on it or something. Um, so I'll wait for that up map. But yeah, it's nice that you get an exhaust with an up map. That's kind of a problem these days. Yeah, and I just wanted to do something different. So we do so many Acker exhausts on this channel. Everyone's been asking for different bikes, different parts. And that's what we're doing, you know? We have an MV on the channel for the first time ever. We've got the BMW, we have the Diavel, we have my Lambo Street Fighter. Fingering it all up. Oh, and I wonder if those come out. If they do, they need to come out immediately. Yes, they do. Baffles are coming out for sure. Looks like there's bolts. So we're gonna take those out just immediately before we even put on the bike. So there you go. That's it. The Termi Titanium Slip-On Exhaust System is going on my Lamborghini Street Fighter V4. Caleb, it's in your hands now. <laughs> so this is the reason why you do these off the bike too because those screws can fall yep that's tools can fall yeah too. tools can fall too but he already got one out it's weird that something this small would make such a big difference in the sound when i found from leaving baffles in versus having them out when they're in it makes it high higher pitched and it kind of like squeezes the sound and when you take those out it actually makes the sound lower and it ends up, in my opinion, sounding much better. You might need like a wrench or something. Oh yeah, there he is. That's how easy that is. Now let me see inside there. Let me see inside there. So I guess there's, is it like two chambers? Yeah, it is, huh? Interesting. Also, I wanna give a big shout out to Dale from Alabama. He sent his Aprilia Tuono all the way over here to have Warhorse work on it um, because of our videos. He's also been a longtime supporter on Patreon and um, his bike is all set and ready to go. So there it is, Dale. Thank you for trusting Warhorse with the bike. Thank you for your support over the years. We appreciate you. And uh, I'm gonna take some photos with the bike uh, for him as well. 
and uh, we've been emailing back and forth and I just think that's so freaking cool. So you want to show them what's going on over there behind you, teams? Oh my teams? gosh, I found a big-ass beehive. Look at this. A wasp nest that, is that is the biggest wasp nest. I don't I've know never if seen one you guys day. can see it. Oh my god, dude. Okay. Woo. Wasps, you do not want to mess with, man. <laughs> I was going to start this and rev it, but you know what? I think we're just going to leave it. So Dale, your bike will be coming home, uh, I think, in a couple of days. I was just walking around the showroom here. I always like to see what has sold recently. So RS660 still selling like hotcakes. I am talking about uh, with Aprilia about getting one of those for the giveaway, which I think would be really good. I think this is another RS660, which is insane. That's crazy. That's actually the color I would want, I think. If we were going to do an RS660, what, what do you guys think? Do you like the acid gold or would you want just like the standard black or even the blue and white's really nice too? RS, uh, R7 sold, beautiful bikes. That would be another cool bike to have. And then look at this thing, the Speed White Aprilia RSV4. Congratulations, brother. Griggs, great choice, man. That is absolutely stunning. All right, so JR actually mentioned while uh, Caleb was working on my exhaust that um, another customer got a new Street Fighter and put the Austin Racing exhaust on. And to be completely honest, I've never even seen this one. I didn't even know it was an option. And it's titanium and it looks really good. Look at the pipes crossing over and stuff. I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. And that all blue and purple in. So yeah, that actually looks really good. If I had seen that, I might have maybe went that route if it was an option. And then here's the other side too, which also looks really good. So, yeah, that's a really cool exhaust. I like it. Never seen that before. What do you guys think of that? We'll have to see what you guys think of that versus the uh, Termi that I put on mine. Okay, so uh, crisscross, a little change of plans here. While Caleb's working on the exhaust, uh, George had a really good idea. Um, since we're going to be doing the giveaways here, like choosing the winners at Warhorse, um, the next bike that we're going to be giving away, the BMW, it's almost done. And when we give it away, George was saying, well, Maybe it would be cool to have one of our M1000Rs done up with some of the parts that you used on the build series bike so that obviously there's only going to be one winner so there's going to be a lot of disappointed people. So maybe if somebody wanted that giveaway bike so much, they will have one that's done up that you can actually purchase, which is a pretty cool idea. So what we're doing here is I'm sitting with JR and we pulled up the Moto Million website and we're going through and grabbing some of like my favorite pieces that we put on that bike, like the titanium exhaust, the carbon fiber pieces, the belly panel, um, and then basic stuff, radiator guards, clear clutch, which is always nice, tail tighties, and we're gonna go ahead and do it up for um, one of their bikes here in the showroom. And I think JR or Caleb's gonna do that so that we'll have two BMWs here when we give uh, mine away and then you'll have one that you can purchase if you're interested if you really love my bike which is really cool i think it's cool. right that's sick yeah. so there'll be two winners that day not just one well someone will have to pay for it but you get what i'm saying good stuff oh and just like i mentioned earlier we put my own discount code in camp Easy, saved 322 dollars on this order so six thousand dollars this is just a couple of parts guys because people are always like how did you spend 20 grand in parts just carbon wheels alone is five thousand dollars you know on top of this so yeah six thousand dollars worth of parts that they're going to put on their m1000 and then they use my code camp easy love it okay as i was walking back to the service area to check on caleb see what's going on dude they just got this new RSV4 in. I think it's the white and gold. It's very similar to Dave's RSV4 that he bought, or no, his is a Tuono, and actually the same one Manny just got recently, except on the Tuono, it's glossy finish, and on these, it's satin, and oh my God, guys, that looks incredible. That is so much better than the gloss. Like, dude, I would buy this. That looks so good. Let's see if it turns on. Oh, it does. It's ready to be purchased. Man, and I don't know, man. I, maybe one of those needs to get added to the build series. That is absolutely stunning. Look at that thing. But this is the other one I was talking about, the RS660. That's pretty cool. People were asking for beginner bikes, so maybe that wouldn't be the best choice, the RSV4. That would be really cool to add to the build series, but damn, that thing is beautiful. What do you guys think of that? Let me know in the comment section below. Okay, I came back in here to check out these guys. Look at this. <laughs> it's the biggest, the lo it's the world's biggest swivel on the tiniest wrench. Guinness Book of World Records. Just kidding, he's not used. Actually, are you, is it working? It could, yeah. It could, but yeah, but he's not. It's more of a hassle than it is helping. <laughs> so they did get this off here. Um, so the only thing holding this on right now, if you can believe it, is just right here. That's it. What they actually are gonna have to do is remove the entire 
rear header system so that they can push this thing up in the air a little bit more and then that will take because it's yeah. kind of like in yeah, a bad I'm angle oh my god i'm sorry man i was already crazy because you have to loosen all the oh because anyway. you already you had them loosened up the okay anyways, yeah so. jesus yeah. we're halfway to a full yeah. system at this point yeah. jeez <laughs> you sure you don't want to get some headers <laughs> i know <before>? right <laughs> okay he's got the rear headers off sitting right here and now you're able to push it up yeah. and pull out. There it is. There we go. Holy crap. I wonder if we should weigh these. Is it, heavy. is it heavy? Okay, so weighing the stock system, 13 pounds, six ounces. Actually light, a little bit lighter than the regular stock exhaust system. Like I said, I was, you can actually see here how they welded it all together. You can look inside of there and see the cats too, which is robbing it, everything of the sound. We've got Tina Wieners here. She's gonna weigh the Termi system. There's not gonna be a ton of weight savings um, like there would be if you did a full system, but it's still gonna be a little bit, I would imagine. Okay, so seven pounds, 10 ounces, so we're saving four pounds. Four pounds, we'll take it, nothing crazy. Normally when you do a full system on these, you save anywhere from 10 to 15 pounds, so just doing a slip on, saving four is, uh, is good for me, right? Is it good for you? Yeah. Are you happy? How happy are you right now? So happy. <laughs> All right, so here's your first look at the left-hand side. Obviously, you didn't put all the bike back together yet, but dude, <laughs> I actually really like this exhaust on there. I think it looks incredible. Um, we decided we're just gonna leave the chain guard off because in order to put it back on, you have to put this um, bracket right here on and it just looks stupid. And it's far enough away, the chain's not gonna hit it. And we we clean our chains off so that there's not a bunch of stuff on it. Worst thing that would happen is maybe throw some lube on here, but you could wipe it off not the end of the world so yeah there's the left hand side looking pretty good he's finishing up the right hand side right now and then you can put the bike the rest of the bike back together but it looks fucking badass look at that guys i really like it i'm glad i went with this one i can't wait to hear it so this is funny guys remember how i was showing you this bike earlier how insane it is to do a brake line and he's doing other stuff too this is the owner of that bike right here Christoph. he just got back from world ducati week it was amazing yeah were you there two years ago as well no just this okay year. all right yeah so i was there two years ago he was there this year and check this out they pulled out his air filter there's a wasp nest in there has how does that even happen i've never seen anything like that before hey i think you're gonna your bike's gonna run a little bit better now <laughs> Crazy. All right, we got the bike outside. We'll let you guys hear it in a second here. Caleb was showing us him on his Harley. Look at this crazy bastard. Just doing burnouts down the middle of the shooting road. Flames on shooting well. flames out of it. What uh, model? Look at this. <laughs> this this guy that barely talks on camera, and then he goes home and does that kind of shit. That's fucking amazing. That's what hey, I gotta do tonight, dude. Thank you, man. I appreciate your help, dude. Okay, so exhaust is on. Um, we already turned it on. It sounds amazing. Um, that does not have the up map. I didn't do the up map yet. I want to get a couple more miles on the bike. So it still has a soft rev limiter when it's in neutral at 4,000. So like, I don't know how to, whenever, I'll, I'll, I'll rev it in neutral first so you can see what I mean. They all come that way from the factory. Um, it's probably a sound thing. So I'll turn it on, I'll rev it a little bit at the soft rev limiter, and then when I put it in gear, I can actually rev it. with the new Termi titanium exhaust system man listen to that what a difference the engine light did come on which uh, we knew would happen since we unplugged the uh, servo motor uh, once we do the T800 up map and filter um, it'll get rid of that engine light it's not doing anything it's not like putting it in limp mode or anything like that but yeah guys I am hyped sounds so much better sound for me on a bike is so important for the riding experience 
<laughs> it feels faster too, which I know it shouldn't be. Usually if you do an exhaust and you don't tune it, you lose power. But it, I don't know, for whatever reason, it feels faster to me. Let's see if I can get out of here. <laughs> it's spitting planes. Dude, you gotta love it, man. Night and day difference. Listen to those downshifts. <laughs> so much better. Oh my god. And when I tune it, it's gonna even sound better. So it'll be louder, more pronounced, more uh, more raw. But yeah, I'm happy. I'm a happy boy. Love it. Now it sounds the way that it should have from the factory for a $70,000 motorcycle. <laughs> it does that same thing that my Diablo does. On up chip, it like pops, because it's literally like spitting a flame. <laughs> Sometimes I forget how fast these bikes are, man. 208 horsepower. Beautiful. It's a beautiful. Oh man, that's good. Oh, just what Papa needed. What a difference. This is those downshifts. I'm so happy. This is the perfect exhaust to do. Looks amazing, sounds incredible. With the filter and the flash, it's just gonna be pure Ducati perfection. I love it. Shout out to Manny from Moto Million for hooking it up with the exhaust. Use my code CAMPEASY if you guys want anything for your bikes. Massive shout out to Warhorse of Camp Hill for the flawless installations and being an official sponsor of the channel. They're such great people over there. They love motorcycles. And they love taking care of everyone. And uh, I'm happy to have them as a, uh, as a local shop. We're back home, look at these. <laughs> Is that Luna? One of our stray cats running around. The house looks beautiful. With all the rain from the hurricane, the yard looks good. Okay, it's so gorgeous out here with the moon in the background. I absolutely love this exhaust, guys. This was the one to go for. The black exhaust, all blacked out next to the wheel. Like, look at that. It looks so good, dude. I'm so happy right now, and it sounds amazing. Did you hear it when I was leaving, how good it sounds? Oh, man. All right, Teens is gonna give you some revs, but it's with the soft lev rev limiter because she can't not do it that way. Now that it's warm, I can actually rev it for you a little bit more. But... environment. Listen to the freaking radiators are staying on. But yeah, that's it guys. I got a Termi titanium exhaust on my Lamborghini Street Fighter. One of my own personal bikes. I finally did a modification for me. And it feels pretty good, I'm not going to lie. I love this bike. It's so beautiful. I still have stickers I got to remove and some stuff I got to do, but I finally ordered parts from Motor Million, so um, I have a bunch of other stuff that I'm going to do on here. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget about the giveaway. Three bikes worth over $100,000 at patreon.com slash campaign customs. It's always the first link in the description below. Huge shout out to Manny from Motor Million and Warhorse. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Show them, show them some love when you guys need stuff for your bikes. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.